Hello friends. Today we will learn what is Android Studio and what is the project folder structure of Android Studio. So what is Android Studio? Actually it is an officially IDE which is developed by JetBeans community which is totally free and it is powered by Google. Android Studio is used to create Android application. So let's get started and let's explore Android Studio. So to do so we have to first install the Android Studio. I am I hope that you all know the installation procedure of Android Studio. Now we will click on start a new Android Studio project. When we click this we will get a prompt select a project template. We will select empty activity as our template and then press next. Here I am getting four, uh, four options like what is the name of my project, what is package name of my, uh, what is the package name, what is the save location, what is the language, minimum SDK and legacy support and all. So I will give name of my application as demo app. So the package name is com.application.demo that is automatically generated by the Android Studio. This is my saving location in my app drive. So I have options of language that is Kotlin and Java. So we will be using Kotlin as our base language for developing Android Studio. Here I have an option of selecting minimum SDK that defines system development kit, software development kit. That means in, uh, what is the minimum SDK our software will require to run. Here by default it is 5.1 that is lollipop. It simply says that our application will run on systems which have the android version 5.1 or above 5.1 so i will next click finish and wait for the gradle build so the gradle build process is done so base uh, so friends this is the folder structure of android studio it is divided into four parts first is manifest second is java third is resources and fourth is Gradle script. In resources folder we have drawable folder, layout folder, map map folder and a values folder. Now what is manifest file? We have a question that what is manifest file, what it does and what is the main purpose of manifest file. So every Android Studio project includes a manifest file which is android manifest.xml file that is stored in the root directory okay it is an important part of of our application because it defines the structure and metadata of our application it also defines the components and the requirements we are going to use in our application the manifest file also specifies how we will communicate multiple activities or we can say multiple screen from one screen to another screen it act as an interpreter between our application screens now Java folder so Java folder is the folder which consists all the Java and Kotlin source code file which are used while creating the code. Files which we create during the application development including test file and other files are stored right over there. If we create a new project using Kotlin by default the class name will be main activity dot kt. Here you can see the main activity dot kt. Now further moving on resources folder so what is resources folder resources folder is the most important folder because it contains all the known uh, non code sources like image xml layout ui strings and other android applications so it uh, so what is drawable resources we have in resources we have drawable so what is drawable drawable it contains the different type of images that are used for the development of application 
we need to add all the images in the tribal folder for the app development like you can see we have an background image so we have placed it in the tribal folder so whenever we will add any background it will fetch the background from the tribal folder now what is layout layout folder contains all the xml files which we use to define user interface of application by default it is activity underscore main dot xml whenever you create any activity it will add activity at the starting of any xml layout file so layout file looks like this uh, it is the xml view and this xml view is interpreted in an ui format that is shown like this okay now what is mip map mip map this folder contains the launcher.xml file launcher.xml files that defines the icon which are used to show on the home screen it contains different uh, density types like uh, depends upon the size of the device such as hdpi mdpi rex uh, xhdpi here you can see that hdpi mdpi xhdpi double x triple x hdpi uh, basically it is the uh, uh, basically it is a folder which shows the icon which an application has when we install an application we see an icon right over there so according to the phone this will select the application uh, this will select the size or the density of that icon icon so now further moving to values values folder contains a number of xml files like string colors styles and etc one of the most important file is string.xml file which contains the resources resources this resource says the primary color the primary uh, the color accent which our application is using in string you can define any string here the application the name of our, our application is demo app if i want to change the name of the application i can just remove it and write an under name that is demo testing app so whenever we run the program it will show us the demo testing app in colors.xml file all the colors that are being used in our application is shown now further moving we have a file that is gradile script file so what is gradile script folder gradile means automatic build system and it contains of number of files which are used to define a build configuration which can be applied to all module in our application in build.gradile this file there are build scripts and in build.gradile module there are all the plugins and implementation that are used to build our application basically gradile what gradile does is gradile acts like an interpreter for our application it generates an apk from all the resources like java file dot xml file it simply takes all the source file all the source files like this is the uh, this is our uh, source uh, source file that is dot kt file this is our xml that is our layout file it will take all these layout file uh, xml files and kt files and with help of some tools it will convert it, that file and compress it into a single AP, apk that is being used by us so this is the directory structure of android hope you like it